Hello everyone, welcome to Develop with HMS Core. On today's episode, you'll learn how to use HMS Toolkit. This Android Studio plugin was developed by Huawei to convert app source code. Instead of your app calling GMS APIs, you get to choose to call both GMS and HMS APIs, or just HMS APIs. Now your apps support both GMS and HMS with one or two APKs. Now let's talk about using HMS Toolkit. On the Android Studio menu bar, go to File, Settings, Plugins, Marketplace, and get HMS Toolkit. Install the plugin. And wait until the installation is completed. Restart Android Studio for your installation to take effect. Now we see HMS on the menu bar. Click HMS and hover over the converter option for the four different commands to choose from. New conversion performs a new scan and converts the current project. Open last conversion displays the last scan and analysis results. Save all saves and backups your project and its scan and analysis results simultaneously. Restore project restores a saved backup of your project. Backup of source code is automatic for every new conversion, and you can also click Save All to back up your source code and process logs anytime during the conversion. Now let's walk through a new scan. Make sure you verified HMS Toolkit and accepted the agreement. First, Analysis Directory stores the files for scanning. Either use the default project directory or click Browse to select another one. Excluded Directory stores the files that do not need to be scanned such as cached files and those with their name starting with a dot. We can add or remove directories as needed. Backup directory stores a copy of projects before they were scanned. We'll check out what clicking comment out original code during conversion looks like later on in this video. Finally, click the help button to view the development guide. Here you can find all there is to know about using the HMS toolkit. Back in Android Studio, click Next and wait for the processing to finish. Let's select a conversion policy. View the results of source code analysis to learn more about GMS API call dependencies, HMS APIs that match GMS APIs, and the degree of conversion possible. The information helps you decide your conversion policy and workload. Now let's check for two things in your converted code that JDK 1.8 is used and if your HMS services use Android X. If they do, configure Android X. Also, min SDK version and target SDK version requirements may change after the conversion. So click here to check them against the integrated kits. In our example, Huawei MapKit is integrated. If your project is using an earlier version of GMS SDK that does not match the currently supported HMS SDK, you'll be prompted to upgrade the GMS SDK version first. The prompt is not showing here as we are using a GMS SDK of the required version. Here we view the conversion data. Dependent GMS APIs are the number of GMS services and GMS methods used in a project. Convertible GMS methods shows information about two conversion policies, including the number of methods that can be automatically converted or need to be manually converted and the automatic conversion rate. Unconvertible GMS APIs and unconvertible GMS methods are GMS services and GMS methods that cannot be converted in the project. Click Details for more information. On the left is a list of the GMS services in your project and on the right are the methods they use. HMS supported shows you whether HMS APIs function like they're matching GMS APIs. The tool automatically converts the API code, or you can modify the code yourself. Now let's move on to the conversion policies. Add HMS API allows you to add code to call an HMS API that matches a GMS API. After conversion, the code can call either the GMS and HMS APIs. To achieve this, XMS code works as an adapter. This policy lets you choose between HMS API first and GMS API first, depending on the API you want to call first. 
The default directory for storing the generated XMS code is the main directory of the project. Click Add or Remove to customize your directories. The Add HMS API policy lets you also package Android variants. When you select Generate Code for creating app dependent only on GMS SDK, XMSG and XMSGH directories are generated to store two sets of variant code. These variants let you call only GMS APIs or call GMS and HMS APIs. Why package Android variants? Variant APK versions give your project multiple channels and different APKs. Another policy is to HMS API, which leads you to replace the code for calling GMS APIs with their matching HMS APIs. This video demonstrates the use of the to HMS API policy, so let's select it. Click Analyze. Let's have a look at the results. These items in white can be automatically converted, so we'll select all of them for conversion in a single click. These items in red must be individually modified. The file drop-down list contains the files involved in the conversion. Total indicates the amount of code to be converted. Double-click one automatic conversion item in the list to enter the div view. Here the source code and converted code are displayed side by side. The source code is commented out for you to check at your convenience. For example, selecting this .gradle file shows you how HMS Maven repository address and class path have been added during conversion. Open another .gradle file to see the conversion of the GMS dependency into the HMS dependency and the addition of the HMS Gradle plugin. Select all the automatic conversion items and click Convert. The conversion is now complete. Here's the code from the conversion. Next, let's select one of these red items. As prompted, the HMS does not need the item, and you can comment it out. After each item is modified, click the icon to turn it green. This item is used to check the JDK environment. Click here to get the code from the development guide, pasted to the project. This item is used to check min SDK version and target SDK version. Similarly, click here to check the development guide. Are the two parameters smaller in the guide? Here we can see that min SDK version and target SDK version are 19 and 29 for Huawei MapKit. So our requirement is met. If the requirement is not met, change them. After modifying the .gradle files, you'll be prompted to download the HMS SDK dependency. Click Sync Now and go to Build, Rebuild Project. You will find the APK package under Outputs. Congratulations! You have now learned how to use HMS Toolkit to convert a source code project. That's it for today's episode. To learn more about HMS Core, please visit the Huawei Developer website. Leave your questions or suggestions in the comment area below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time.